Hello members, this is Danish. In this video, I am going to explain the new way of submitting the Help This Ticketing System project. At this point, you went through the whole course. On the left side, you can see in the panel where you have uh, uh, learned about what is ticketing system. You have actually uh, uh, watched some of the videos on top ticketing systems and we will add more to this uh, sections. But I think at this point, you're ready to submit your first project. But we are changing some of the things because remember we are all about reality. Now we don't want you to just go and submit a ticket and just get the certificate it, because outcome is yeah you will you will get the certificate and you learn something which is great but that's just like doing a normal courses kind of thing you know what is our main goal over here we want you to learn the hands-on experience at the same time when we make videos or when we do something when we ask you to do something we want the full benefit for you now what is the main benefit of this project that we're changing now as you can see on this uh, video I am basically telling people that you have to watch this video before you move on into this project because there's a very important point over here this is your first step to become a future MSP if this is the course that you're taking first course on jobskillshare.org then basically I'm telling people that this is the first step to become a future MSP. Now, what is MSP right here? MSP is basically a managed service provider and most of the time it is going to be a managed service provider. Uh, basically, it's going to be a company where you are going to be remotely managing other customers. Maybe sometimes you will have to go to the, uh, the, the company and sometime maybe you will figure this out that all these years that when you were doing an IT support job at one point you're going to be so comfortable that you will think of becoming an MSP and that is exactly what we're doing here we don't want you to to spend three more years to to um, you know unlock this thinking that whoa I want to become an MSP because I want my own clients now job skill share <laughs> the idea of job skill share is too big since we have our own clients now too and we have other projects we have different teams that are working on different things at some point we are going to use our own certified members to actually get the jobs now that is one of the idea that we are implementing now and this is the first project that we want our every member meaning the plus member premium member because they have access to this projects uh, and that's been there you know we are not changing anything it is just that we are giving you more now to actually do more uh, gain more out of these projects so in summary this will be kind of like training you to become our certified technicians and this is exactly what you're going to be doing when you go out and work for another MSP company or maybe another IT company or maybe some other places because now you are actually getting into advanced stuff even without knowing but you're actually we're taking you in a very in a very step-by-step -step way so you don't get really like you know frustrated with things so this is pretty easy right now the way we're making things is gonna be super easy so let's get real now what do you need to do to finish this project first of all we have created our own portal now so when you click on create a ticket as a user this is going to be where you have learned all of that um, you know what is ticketing system and we talked about who who submits the ticket and all that kind of stuff at this point now you are going to be doing a hands-on project where you will click on access user portal when you click on access user portal this is exactly what your user are going to see now of course they will have their own uh, pages and logos and things like that but here what you will do is you will click on open a new ticket and think of yourself as a user now because you want that experience also because someone can call you just because of this whole page maybe they will say what is what is the you know what should I put right here what should I put over here so you re you really need to know what your portal is in your company if you're using the job skills share you become our member and you are that MSP then you will be seeing this uh, portal we, we change this for based on customers so here you will see like you know report a problem and then here you'll type the email address so for example I'm gonna put the support at jobskillshare.org and I'm gonna put the name now for your project you have to put your username over here for us to approve your project this is one of the details that I said in my videos in my sections that you have to watch this video and this is the detail that I'm talking about you need to put so if my username is support I am going to put support in here and then I'm going to put let's say something in there in the dash uh, in the in the summary because this is what users experience so I'm gonna say desktop issue uh, desktop is not working correctly 
so if you put something like that just basic stuff and then uh, you don't need to put the attachment and just add something here and create a ticket so when you click on create a ticket you see your ticket number is assigned and this is exactly you have just learned the user experience at this point a user know their their ticket is submitted they got the number so what users do they will type this number with them or add it or somewhere if they're in the company they'll get another email that hey you know your, your ticket has been submitted so this is the user part right here you don't have to do any Anything over here again you can register if you want to see more but you don't have to the second part of this project is that you will click on close the ticket as a technician now this is where you need to log in as a technician now uh, this is kind of your job so you will log in uh, the username will be provided right here password will be also provided right there so if I log in with the account that is going to be provided to all the members uh, plus and premium so I'm gonna go ahead and um, type the password so I'll log into that and now you will access your um, uh, ticketing system environment where this is kind of like you are the admin of this uh, enterprise uh, software uh, your company could be using different things wherever you work uh, it depends on they may be even using like as just a normal ticketing system this is a, a MSP type of uh, software where we have every single thing so this is where we are actually training you right from the this day that you are actually in the system that we use for our customers uh, you may not be able to access many of the things that we have in this system right now so first thing you don't see anything on the dashboard so you will click on application and only one thing you have access right now is the ticketing system so here you see that your customer already created a ticket for you your job in this project is going to be uh, now taking care of that customer so you will click on that ticket and now you're opening what is the issue at this point you're not actually a technical person where you're gonna go and fix the issue you could be but let's say your job was just ticketing system at this point right now we just hide you in this company and we're telling you look you're not going to be approaching our customers at this point you we just want to train you how to just kind of uh, make the flow running so the first thing is like I want you to be trained on a ticketing system and most of the people will start from this because um, there's no formal training on this, this is jobskillshare.org actually created this whole formalization when it comes to ticketing but there, there was no actually formal training when we started this so it's kind of like a normal trend that a lot of people in, in internal IT departments they're going to train from from this software so because they don't want you to approach their customers without knowing you know some of the rules and stuff like that so you see this is a ticket that you got from your customer at this point your your job is going to be just closing this ticket that's it because you can come on uh, into this platform with that username and password and you can just change you can do some a lot of things you know um, change the ticket owner you can do a lot of other things and kind of learn more that what you have learned in the other videos because this is a very powerful ticketing system uh, that you have access right now so the, the only thing that you have to do in this project you just need to close this ticket you will give the reason uh, you'll give it a project uh, whatever name you want to give to project and then you will close this ticket so there you go you just close your first ticket so congrats on that because if you are going to be hired by us this is the first thing that we will teach you to do in our company to go back to your course you will type your username over here and then you will type your uh, your uh, email for ticketing uh, to get projects and certificate uh, and then you will type the ticket number and then you'll say my project and there you go this is done this is the final step that you will do we will get the email we'll check the project is it closed we will delete the ticket from the system and then basically your first project will be over and then slowly slowly we are going to give you more application access over here and you will become an overall MSP uh, kind of trained person because then if we refer you to someone else in, in any other country or cities and they said this person is certified by us because this person has so much training not only just video training hands-on training but now we have trained this person like an MSP that is very powerful 
This information is for the users who would like to become an MSP without doing the projects and they want to go through a formal training. Then we have a full training for MSP. So if you want to become an MSP, you need to go to the all courses and we have a service available that's called Manage IT Services. If you click on Manage IT Services, you can actually click on the course that we are applying. So you say Manage IT Services Provider, you will click on that. It's a live certification. We will provide offline videos, but you have have to go through our training live and then once you finish this you become our partner in a way that you can offer our services to your clients which you can go to the services section right here we offer a lot of services that you can use because you are our partner then and also you get our benefits from us and we get the benefits from you because if you get clients you also get the support from our company and if we get clients we also offer the support from your company so this is how we are going to work with our members and to see if we can find more business into this. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in a different video.